One of the things I love the most about photography is uh, sharing my photos with people, friends and family. And suddenly the photo becomes alive and we all start talking about it. My name is Stefan and I run the travel photography website Mel365. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about exporting a photo in dark table with or without watermarks. But let's get into it. interface of dark table and the export module is the one on the bottom right here and that's where you define where you want to store your photo that you are exporting and you do that here you just click on the little folder here you can say which folder you want to store it you can also identify a name and the name it can be either one that you add yourself like uh, this photo or the one that uh, includes some of the exif data that you see uh, listed below um, for example, these are photos that I did in Moscow, so I want to add the Moscow name and here it is all done. When you go down below, you can decide if you want uh, to overwrite in case of conflict or not. And you can decide also the format that you want to export to. You have different format here from JPEG to WebP, which is the format which is popular now on the websites. And once you have defined the file format, you can decide also the quality. And uh, if you want to print this photo, probably you want to go uh, you know 95 to 100 percent if you want to publish on your website probably you want to go down to 70 80 percent to get uh, enough quality but also a smaller size otherwise if it becomes too big the size then uh, you have problem with loading let's go down below and uh, that's where we identify the size of your photo if you put a zero on the max size of a high and the wide and what is going to happen is that the uh, dark table is going to export this photo to the original size of the raw file otherwise you can resize the photo for example if i post on the website i put 800 by 600 and that's working for my website and then uh, there is allow upscaling so in case your photo is actually smaller than 800 or 600 uh, dark table is able to rebuild it and do an upscaling and when you do an upscaling you can do also in a high quality resampling let's go down where you can see the profile of your photo and you can define find the color space that you want to use I usually use just the image settings and the intent and this is something that you want to uh, go down a little bit more into the manual in case you think to export this photo for uh, printing because this is where you define what to do with the out of gamma colors and the last thing you want to decide is the style by default is set to none now what is a style if you aren't sure about it probably you want to check one of my previous uh, videos that I will put on top in saying that you may think why do you want uh, to apply style only at the end of the process uh, and not actually during the editing uh, that's a good question and mostly you don't need to apply any style but there are a few cases where you want to apply the style only and uh, when you do the actually export of the file once you define all of these you just to select the photo you want to export and it's all done this is the photo that I have just exported 800 by 600 you may want to save also the setting of the export into a preset and I have for example presets for Facebook export, Instagram export, printing, website with no exit, website with exit data. It's all up to you really. Probably I've noticed that uh, there is no way here in the export module to add a watermark and uh, there are a few people that actually export photos with watermark. So how can we do that? You have actually to use a module in the dark room and let's go to the dark room to add a watermark to this photo and you look for the module watermark here it is and when you activate it it's going to add the watermark that you define here you can define the position here and the offset as well as the opacity and scale and the rotation and you have different kind of watermarks predefined and you can also create your own watermark like i have done here and um, the way to do that is to add an svg file into this folder I'll show it to you. In my case, I create an SVG file for the EXIF metadata and I add it into this folder dark table watermarks. I'm going to add this uh, folder name into the video description. Now, you may want to actually apply the same watermark to all of the photos where you want to export. In my case, three of them. And I don't want to actually add a watermark module for every photo. That would be very time consuming. So what you want to do probably in this case is to add a style that you apply 
apply on the export phase and by the style will be only with the watermark so to add the style i go here and i say select none and i create a style watermark to add watermark with exif and then i do save i am back here in the light table export module and um, what i want to do here i want to apply the style add a watermark with exif that i have just created and export and the watermark will be added to the photo on the way out let me show you the photo now and you see the photo with the watermark added here in the bottom and that's it about this video please leave a comment if you have any question and if you enjoyed the video please leave also a like i really appreciate that subscribe to the channel and tick that little bell to get a notification in my next video on dark table and you know what i'm gonna go to the beach because today is so hot i see you in the next video Thank you.